yeah hi good evening guys uh, i hope you guys are doing great so today in as part of this video we are going to talk about periodic table in detail periodic table is a great discovery uh, by the scientific community so i will start from the beginning of the journey of periodic table so these are couple of agenda which i have written down in front of you so first thing which we are going to talk about is reasons for the classification of elements this is the first thing reasons for the we will talk about reasons for the classification of elements followed by william prot he was also scientist and made some important contribution related to atomic mass then it is followed by dobbiner's triads he grouped the elements in the form of triads group of three elements we will talk about it in a bit and fourth one is Newland's law of octaves. Newland also made a very uh, nice contribution. And then last one is Dimitri Manley. So these five things we will talk about as part of this video. I repeat, as part of this video, we are going to talk about these five things. So as I said, I'll be uh, I'll be talking from the beginning. So it is it is it is good that if I start with the reason for the classification of elements you know so <clears throat> let me give you a background scientists have not discovered elements in any order of their physical or chemical properties for example uh, elements have not been discovered in either increasing or decreasing order of their say atomic mass atomic number, ductility, malleability, density, no, it is not like that. They have not been discovered in any fixed order, no. So how they have been discovered? So the answer is they have been discovered randomly, they have been discovered in a random order, right. So for example, I do not know like um, which element got discovered first, but let us talk about the first element which could have been discovered by the scientific community which is strontium. It is followed by calcium, it might be followed by barium, hydrogen, oxygen, W is for tungsten, nitrogen and sodium. So why I am saying the, that the elements have been discovered in a random order because if you refer today's modern periodic table you will get to know that these elements are not arranged not these elements have not been discovered in the order in any order of their atomic mass or atomic number no they have been discovered by different scientists in different parts of the world at different times so now i am coming back to the reasons for the classification of elements so actually scientists wanted to study elements in detail and that's to in an organized manner okay i repeat scientists wanted to study elements in detail and that's to in an organized manner so that they could establish relationship among different elements so this was the reason for the classification of elements so this is important for us to know what was the reason for the classification of elements? So this is what I have written here, this thing which I said. Now this is, this part is done. Now I am going to talk about, if I ask you, if I ask to my viewers that who first suggested the use of atomic mass for classification of elements? I repeat, who first suggested the use of atomic mass for classification of elements? So the name goes to Dimitri William Prot. The name goes to William Prot. Okay. He suggested to use atomic mass as the best scientific parameter for the uh, for the comparison of elements, right? in order to know their uh, different physical and chemical properties. So he 
So, William Pratt made a very important contribution because he pointed out that atomic mass is something which is constant for an element. If that element is found in India, the atomic mass is same as that, that particular element is found in other parts of the world. Atomic mass never varies. So, he suggested since it does not vary for element, so that we can use as a constant parameter for the comparison of uh, physical and chemical properties of elements. So, this is what I was about to talk about William Pratt. So, I am done with it. Okay. So, now we will talk about Dobina's triads. So, Dobina was a scientist who made a very great contribution because he was the first who established a clear, clear relationship between atomic mass of an element with its property. He made a clear relationship. He proved a clear relationship, relationship uh, between uh, atomic mass of an element and its properties. Okay. So, what he did Dobiner? So, Dobiner classified grouped elements in, in the form of a triad. Triad means it is a group of three elements. So, Dobiner's uh, Arrange the elements in the form of triads. If he, he, he formed a couple of triads, so few examples I will give in the form of triads. For example, you can talk about this element and this triad calcium followed by strontium followed by barium. Okay. So, what Dobiner observed that the atomic mass, the atomic mass of the middle element, the atomic mass of the middle element is the arithmetic mean of the atomic mass of calcium and atomic mass of barium. For example, in this case, we can say what is the atomic mass of calcium? If you go and check, you will find it is 40. Okay. Atomic mass of calcium is 40. An atomic mass of barium is 137. Okay. 137. And arithmetic mean, I am saying. So you will find it 177 upon 2. Right. So how much we are getting? 288.5. So this is nearly equal to the atomic mass of strontium. So, I repeat what Dobiner's triad is. When you take a triad of elements, for example, calcium, strontium and barium, you will find that the atomic weight of the middle element, in this case, it is strontium. So, atomic weight of strontium is the arithmetic mean of the atomic mass of calcium and barium. So, which I have written and found out the average of atomic weight of calcium and barium. So, this is this belongs to barium, this belongs to calcium and this belongs to barium. So, you see it is coming very close to the atomic mass of strontium. So, similarly, there are other triads of other triads, for example, lithium, sodium and potassium this forms a triad this also forms a triad right it also works in the same way here the atomic weight of sodium is equal to is nearly equal to the atomic weight of uh, to the arithmetic mean of the atomic weight of lithium and potassium so but dobinus triad got rejected got discarded you can say got discarded why it got discarded because all the then known elements all the then known elements could not be fitted in the form of triads so that's why 
uh, Dovina's strides got discarded. But he made very important contribution because he was the first scientist to prove that there is just clear relationship between atomic weight of an element and its properties. Okay. So, the fourth one we are going to talk about, so third one we are done, right. So, fourth one we are going to talk about Newland's law of octaves, okay, fine, yeah. So, who landed in the arena of search after Tobina? I repeat, who landed in the arena of search after, after Dovina? So, the answer is Newland. Newland and landing, right. So, that is pretty much uh, fun full. So, Newland's, Newland make a remarkable contribution, made a remarkable contribution uh, in the discovery, in the classification of the elements, right. Because what he observed that when elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass, when elements are arranged, he found that when elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass, okay, every eighth element resembles the first element in terms of its physical and chemical properties, right. So, actually, so shall I read it again? This is known as Newland's law of octaves. This is known as Newland's law of octaves. It says when elements are arranged in the increasing order of their increasing order. So, increasing order is a key word here. When elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass, every eighth element resembles the first one in terms of their physical and chemical properties. Okay. So, you can say uh, Newland was the first to come up with a tabular kind of a structure because if you see the modern periodic table, it is in the modern periodic table, the elements have been arranged in the form of a table. All elements are arranged in the form of a table, right, all elements. So, I would give, I personally give a lot of credit to Newland because he was the first one who came up with the concept of periodic table in the form of which consists of some groups, which consists of some groups which we are known, which is known as columns and periods, okay. So, he came up with this kind of table. It was quite remarkable achievement by Newland. But uh, again, why Newland's idea got discarded? Why? The reason behind is that the reason behind is that it failed to accommodate the heavier elements, okay, and left no space for elements that were discovered later. I repeat. This method also got discarded because it failed to accommodate the heavier elements and left no space for elements that were discovered later. So, who, so this is, this was the Newland's law of octaves. So, I think I am done. Who came in the fifth order? It is Dimitri Mendeleev. He is one of the famous scientist is very well known uh, for his contribution for the classification of elements in a very scientific way. Okay. So, what is said what he observed Mendeleev observed that elements with similar properties elements with similar properties occurred at regular intervals. Mendeleev observed that elements with similar properties occurred at regular intervals, he called this as the periodicity of the properties of elements. Periodicity of the properties of elements, that means if we arrange the elements in this order, for example, this is element number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
one two three four five six seven this seven elements and the eighth one is lying just below it eighth one is lying just below it up to certain extent right he was pretty close to the modern periodic table right but there was a problem actually at the time of mendeleev okay at the time of mendeleev uh, scientists were not aware of the inert gases which is known as noble gases that was not known at the time but in spite of that mendeleev's contribution is well known so mendeleev's gave propounded a law that is known as mendeleev's periodic law so what this law says this law says that the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic mass the physical and chemical properties of of elements are the periodic function of their atomic mass so this is what mendeleev said about the elements about the classification of elements so what do you think did he made anything else yes he predicted he predicted uh, about the he predicted the properties of the elements which were which were not discovered at the time of mendeley and when when the element when those elements got discovered the properties was very close to what mendeley wrote about those to be discovered elements it was found very correct up to certain extent right it was found very correct up to certain extent extent so did mendeleev idea survived no but the mendeleev periodic table also had some shortcomings for example what were those shortcomings for example it could not explain the position of <coughs> sorry it could not explain the position of rare earth elements and existence of isotopes isotopes are the elements which have same atomic number but different atomic mass isotopes are those elements which have same atomic number but different atomic weight for example hydrogen has three isotopes hydrogen deuterium and tritium tritium we know it has carbon has two isotopes okay c c12 c14 these are two isotopes of carbon so similarly there are few elements which exist in the form of isotopic forms so mendeleev could not give the explanation for the existence of isotopes in his periodic table also he was not able to actually uh, also he was not able to justify the position justify the fixed position for hydrogen because hydrogen is able to gain electron and lose electron it can form both cation and anion so it its position was not fixed in the mendeleev's table so it was put in both group 1a and group 7a so because of this regions which i mentioned here mendeleev's idea, mendeleev's idea was also discarded but mendeleev i can say he made a remarkable contribution on top of mendeleev's periodic table the modern periodic table have been evolved so in the next video i will talk about modern periodic table and how it evolved from this scientific uh, talks right so i am done with dimitri mendeleev's contribution okay he was a russian um, chemist he made a very remarkable contribution so in the next video i'll come up with modern periodic table
and we'll let you guys know how it got derived from this so you can after that you would be able to realize the modern periodic table is nothing it's a continuous evolution of these facts put together in a scientific order so thank you for watching i am done